disaster, almost, almost disaster. If this was filled with isopropyl alcohol, and it, because this is the cleaning container for the Prusa CW1, if that was filled, we would have had isopropyl alcohol all over the new workbench, and it would have been sad. And if this was all of the isopropyl, if this was all of the isopropyl alcohol you had, you would be very sad because then you wouldn't be able to cure any more stuff, you wouldn't be able to save it, your day would be ruined. But apparently there is a print that I heard about from Chris Russell, who's also the practical printing channel. There's a print that goes under this onto this and kind of kind of clamps it down and keeps it from spilling. So what we're gonna do is print it out and test it out, and we're gonna save our IPA. And we're gonna do it right here on 3D Printing Nerd. A portion of this episode is sponsored by Ridge. Head to ridge.com forward slash 3D Printing Nerd and stick around to the end to find out more. There you are, welcome back. Before we save our IPA, I wanna talk about this model. In fact, here, let's get it up nice and close. That is an incredible model. Here, hold on. <laughs> I've got the information on my phone. A couple months ago, I saw this on Reddit and I was like, gorgeous, in all capital letters. And it was by someone, Stan Muse. Stan Muse said, yo, what 3D printing nerd? Thanks, dude, print this model and shout me out in a video. Stan Muse, what up? This is the Distorted Taurus Hexagonal Grid by Zay Kuz on Thingiverse. It's on Thingiverse, so I'll put a link in the description. And actually, watch till the end because it could be yours. Ooh. On prusaprinters.org, there is a model called the CW1 tank cover, and it's, it's, it's interesting because a while ago I featured an episode where we used uh, this print-in-place cam to do a chip clip with. And this follows a very similar principle. It's put out by Prusa Research. And I remember Jojo Potato in a stream actually talked about that being one of his favorite prints. So in a way, I'd like to believe I influenced this just uh, a little bit. Just that's my, this is my influence, my cam. Don't ever do that again. So now to print it out, and uh, I mean, TLDR, it's been printed out and it's sitting right there. Let me get it for you. That is some tasty goodness right there. This is Green Gate Recycled PETG, and this is Pink Lemonade or something like that. I don't know, but it's a freaking beautiful, beautiful color. And it printed incredibly well, and some of them have already come loose. They are of fantastic quality. I mean, that's, that looks good. So the idea being that this, once assembled, can mount on top of this. So to print this out, actually, it, it was taking about a day. It's all on the same build plate, and uh, I needed some help because I like to show you when things are printing. So what I did is I enlisted the help of my daughter, Riley. I have a Xiaomi Mi 10 Lite cell phone that I'm using to take photos and videos for 3D printing things. And I said, Riley, while I'm gone, set a timer. And every hour I'd like to go up and just get three different angles of the print while it's printing. And hopefully while I'm telling you all of this, you're seeing this wonderful little sequence put together of all of the images and photos and videos that Riley took of the print. And so uh, a big, huge thank you to Riley. Thank you very much for helping me out, young daughter. I love you very much. But now that it's printed, I think we need to get it off this big plate. <laughs> These were all printed with uh, a brim, just because I don't want to chance anything. Ready to go. <laughs> now I got to put it together. Uh, I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit. I'm just taking off the brim here. My worry is always uh, a 3D printed peg like this. Is this going to withstand the pressures needed um, for this, for this to, to work, right? I mean, this is clamping down on something. <laughs> Success! Success. Look at that, we're done. And this is sturdy, like, this, this feels like an injection molded piece of plastic. Like, like in that it is, the way that they formed the build plate uh, is, is very conducive to keeping it uh, very strong, the strength in the right places. So, so now we bring out our, uh, our tank. So it goes on like this and then it goes down like this and then 
clips into place and it does hit on all sides. So you make sure to, you hook the, ooh, boy, that is. I guess we flew too close to the sun. Yeah, that's what you did. But look at this, we have three sides. We have three sides that are connected. <sighs> Dang it, okay. It wasn't one of the axles that broke. It was actually the, the material itself. It was, a, it was a pure material failure. Wow. I guess I was stressing it though. But look, but I mean, I know this one isn't held down, but the rest are. And uh, do we try it? Do we? <laughs> Duh and or hello. Okay, so no joke. This is full of resin. Not resin. I'm sorry. Isopropyl alcohol. This is my, look at, I mean, it's got my, my, my basket in it and all the bits. This is a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. If I just put pressure on it, it does hold a seal. Pretty good. Okay, three drips came out, but that wasn't the whole thing. Oh, and it came out, look, it came out around the top. Okay, three out of four connected. Let's just tip it and see what happens. This isn't how I wanted the video to go. I like it when things don't break. I like that, I like that a lot. <laughs> Dang it. So listen, so in, in a case like this, obviously what I can do is go back and print the pieces that broke. I can print those and um, you know put them on the model. I can put them on there and then I can, I can, I can hold it tight. Uh, again, if, uh, if this is held down, it kind of dribbled out a little bit over there. I wiped it up with a shop towel. But I mean, if this is just kind of doing that, you, know, you accidentally, whoa, 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 at least it's gonna keep it from knocking out. You just can't let stuff like this get you down. You gotta know that, that future Joel, you know, I'll, I'll print the pieces that I need and I'll get it fixed up and I'll have a working model and it'll keep my IPA safe. Hey, it's future Joel with a future build plate with future filament. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm reprinting the pieces. I'll get those in. Failures get you down, especially in 3D printing, because you just get to print a new one. But hey, listen, this was a good excuse to find out whether or not this worked, and I think it would. It was a little tough getting this one on. It was just a material failure. I have the material loaded. I can go print new ones out. More importantly, though, big shout out to Stan Muse for this model. And I like it, and I hope you like it, too. But really, I don't have a place to put it. Do you? There's a link in the description and it shows you how to enter to win this model. I don't care where you are in the world. I just want to, I want to see you taking a selfie with this and giving a shout out to Stan Muse on Reddit. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Ridge. Ridge wallets. That's this wallet right here. Ridge wallets are sleek and industrial. They don't bend like other wallets. They can hold up to 12 cards and they come in 30 delicious flavors. And the best part, Ridge will give you 45 days to try it out free of charge. If you don't like it within that 45 days, send it back you get a full refund. Plus, use my code 3D Printing Nerd at ridge.com forward slash 3D Printing Nerd to get 10% off your order and free worldwide shipping. Again, ridge.com forward slash 3D Printing Nerd. Use code 3D Printing Nerd and you can get yourself one of these. One of these right here. Try it out for 45 days and if you don't like it for any reason, send it back for a full refund. That's it. Uh, be safe. That's all I got for you. <laughs> It's literally all I got for you. Look, don't let failures get you down. Just know that you can, you can live to fight another day, or in this case, live to print the pieces that fix it. Don't worry, I'll get this fixed. I'll get on with my day, and uh, I hope you do as well. Hey, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, and if you believe in a certain cause, just don't give up, and uh, from a safe distance, high five.
Dang it.